वक्रतुंडमहाकाय सूर्यकोटिप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभं करिष्या सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुसाक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओ सहना सहनौ भुन सह वीकवाहे तेजस्वीनावधे तमस्तमाशावे ओ शाशाशा we are <clears throat> doing reading practice of sim- simple words having vowels and consonants consonant vowel combinations we will continue with that and after that we will enter into the, the next topic conjunct consonant now we will read some words okay igne priyachi निकन न रेलयानम रेलयानम इट इज रेलयानम ओके रेलयानम ल इट इज ल नॉट लकार अस्तुज पतितम पतितम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन परोली परोली कैन रीड दिस हां हां या री माला खादितवती there is there is no ma it is only makara only the consonant ma. is there so patitum it is patitum how it is patitum patitum ha ha yeah correct correct yeah yeah patitum patitum patitum, patitum correct the first one is bhavan second hmm. one nikhananam third yeah. one relayanam yeah. patitam patitum patitum Pati, राजानी 
hi rajaniti hi rajaniti rajaniti hi phira tide shaha phira tade shaha what is the first letter bha oh sorry bharata देशः भारत देशः भारत देशः व्हाट इज द सेकंड लेटर भारत देशः इट इज भारत देशः यस सेकंड लेटर इज र नॉट रा सो बा टू मात्रास र अ वन मात्रा क वन मात्रा ये it is long vowel to matras ba yes. ra ta de shah bharat deshah okay yes guru ji vi dhaja na nam vividha jananam vividha jananam okay आसन आसन नेक्स्ट पर्सन कीर्ति जी पनस फलम पनस फलम पनस फलम इट मींस जैक फ्रूट ओके कटोप निषत कटोप निषत यस आकांक्षी Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Next person now, not audible. Now, Deepika, she can read. Yes, Guru Ji. Ajaruka, Ajarukata Vashat. Ajarukata Vashat. Good. Ruha Patha Lekhanam. Yes. विनोद विनोद We have read. Now, now we are familiar with the letters and the words having simple letters. Now we have to we'll read some simple sentences and then we'll see another topic. Next person now, <clears throat> Sumrakshmi. Mama, name is Sharanagar. 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 Tava name is Kim. Yes, simple sentences. Mama Nama means my name. Tava Nama Kim means what is your name. Babar Taka Nama Kim. Yes, Babar Taka Nama Kim. Tava Pitu Pitu Ku Nama Kim. Yes. Babar Taka Pitu Ku Nama Kim. Yes. Next person. Rama Maniji. Tava Matu Hu Nama Kim. Bava Taha Matu Hu Nama Kim. Bava 
भवान् किम् करोति अहम् पठामि अहम् खादामि 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 पठामि मीन्स आई रीड खादामि मीन्स आई ईट खादामि so from simple simple words to little longer word and the word now sentence having some simple words slowly we are improving our reading ability next person dhanyawad bhavani ji bhavani ji you can read yeah yeah guru ji i am not uh, up to this uh, level I'm still learning the consonants on my own. Maybe after a few classes. Okay. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to uh, learn the letters now. Um, okay, fine. You sorry, please, I uh, can't read. Learn quickly so that you will catch up with the class. Sure, I will. I'm working on it. Thank you. Yes. Rajesh Shri Ji. Ji. Keshaha Mama Pita. Pita. एषा मम माता एषः मम पतिः एषा मम सहोदरी एषः मम सहोदरः यस नेक्स्ट पर्सन देवकी जी आई एम आई एम अजह अयम गजह एषा लता एषा मम माता सा वीणा सा मम भगिनी भगिनी मम देश भगिनी मम देशः भारतः यस नेक्स्ट पर्सन ओके दिस इज Next person can read later. Now we are going to see the next topic. It is conjunct consonant. Important. Important uh, topic. So far, selectively we read uh, the words and sentences having simple words. Simple, simple, simple words and simple, uh, simple uh, letters. It is vowels and consonants. Now we are going to see conjunct consonant. You will find almost all the the words. We we'll have this conjunct letters. Like we have seen the conjunct vowels in the context. A conjunct vowel is that which has got two different places of pronunciation. Starting place and ending place both are different. That is for the conjunct vowels. So conjunct consonants, it's a little bit different. That we will see. First, let us understand what is, what does it mean? What is a conjunct consonant? In Sanskrit, it is called Sanyukta Vinjanani. Conjunct consonant is called Sanyukta Vinjanani. So. <clears throat> What does it mean? Two or more consonants joined without the intervention. Joined or they, they are together, coming together without the intervention <coughs> of any verbal. Without the intervention of any verbal is called conjunct consonant. A simple way of saying what it is. Two consonants, pure consonants. When they say consonant, means pure consonants. Consonants without any verbal addition. That is called pure consonant. Two or more pure consonants. They come together without the intervention of any verbal. That is, there is no verbal in between them. It is called conjunct consonant. Could be two consonant, or could be three, four, five. It can be any number. 
and there there is no vowel in between that makes a conjunct consonant how many conjunct consonants are there there is no list because two or more consonants how many consonants are there 33 so how many possibilities will be there countless so therefore there are there are you don't have any number therefore in the language a word can have different consonant and there is no order also any consonant can come with any any consonant so therefore there is no number innumerable so now we need to learn to read this for that some the some technical things are required let us see what it is now you can see this example what is the first letter in the example the pure consonant the second letter is ka how do you call the first consonant anybody kakara remember ka. that we saw that right we saw that we read the equation when we learned the consonant vowel combination that time the first consonant you cannot you cannot pronounce it you can address it as kakara it is wrong to say the first letter as ik it is not ik when you say ik means you are adding the vowel e before that it is not ik it's a pure consonant it cannot be pronounced so it is, it can be only addressed as kakara kakara plus ka kakara plus ka the second consonant is okay let me ask this kakara followed by what letter now kakara followed by a uh. the first letter kakara followed by which letter ka ka it is followed by ka and ka is a combination of kakara plus a uh. oh. kakara plus a therefore kakara is followed by kakara right therefore kakara is followed by kakara and the kakara is followed by a uh, akara Understand? Yes, sir. So the second letter ka is the combination of kakara plus a. You can see my cursor. The second letter. The first letter is kakara. So kakara plus ka. When we say the second letter, which is the combination of kakara plus akara, so therefore kakara is followed by kakara. The first letter is. kakara the second the first consonant is kakara the second consonant it also kakara the third letter is akara so kakara plus kakara plus akara so now kakara followed by kakara a consonant followed by another consonant that is called conjunct consonant is there any vowel in between no the vowel is at the end that is okay But between the consonants, there should not be any vowel. Okay, understand? This is what conjunct consonant is. Now, if that is there, how do you write it? You can write it this way. That is, the first kakara is at the top, and the second ka, that is the kakara with the vowel, is at the bottom. It can be written like this. now this can be pronounced ka ka or it can be written like this the first kakara followed by the second ka which is kakara plus a the first kakara is written half it is not completely written it is written only half this way also can it can be written so a consonant Or be another consonant, and no vowel intervention between them. The vowel can be at the end, or the vowel can be at the beginning also. But between the consonants, there should not be. There is no. There not not. There is no vowel. Then it makes a conjunct consonant. The second example, the kara plus ka. What is ka? Is ka is kara plus a. 
So kakara followed by kakara plus akara, a is there. That can be written the same way. The first pure consonant written at the top, followed by the second consonant at the bottom. And the vowel is a, therefore ka. Or it can be written one after the other. Kakara, the first letter is a pure consonant. You write it half. The second one, ka. So ka, this is. Understand this? Hello, yes, Guruji. Yes. Now we'll see more examples. Now you see it's, it will be very clear. The first letter, which is Gakara, pure consonant, which is in yellow color. Then the second letter, which is Ka, which is in red color. There's a difference between these two. First is Kakara, this is Ka. Now this red color, Ka is a combination of Kakara plus A. Now we are talking about the first consonant, which is Kakara, and the second consonant, which is also Kakara. So consonant followed by another consonant, they are together, coming together, and though no vowel in between them, it is called conjunct consonant. And this, now it becomes pronounceable. How? Pure consonant cannot be pronounced. How it is pronounceable? Because it has got vowel at the end. Therefore, now it is pronounceable. If the vowel is there at the end or at the beginning, then the, then the conjunct consonant is pronounceable. Otherwise difficult. Otherwise you cannot pronounce it. Because the vowel is there at the end, in this example, therefore we can pronounce ka. Then, for uh, our discussion, we give them some technical yeah, name. The first consonant is called first. The first letter is called first consonant. The second one is called the last consonant. The so first consonant, last consonant. We name it. First consonant, why first consonant, last consonant? Because a consonant can be followed by any number of consonants. Therefore, first consonant. If there are more consonants, first consonant, second consonant, third consonant, then the last consonant. Why it is called last? Because it is followed by the vowel. It is followed by the vowel. Therefore, we call it as the last consonant. So first consonant and the last consonant. From the first to the last consonant, consonant, there is no vowel. No vowel should be there. Then it is conjunct consonant. Now, what is the last consonant? Last consonant is that which is followed by the vowel. Or, as I said, the vowel can be at the beginning also. That is, before the first consonant. That is also fine. So the vowel could be at the beginning. The first consonant is that which can be, which can begin with the vowel. That possibility also is there. Then it becomes pronounceable. That is why we are naming this. So the consonants which precedes the last consonant, consonant, not consonants, the consonants which precede the last consonant are pure consonants. They are pure consonant, like, like in this example, the kakara, the first letter, which is in red color, first consonant, which precedes the last consonant. And therefore, the consonants which precede the last consonant, they are written half. The consonants, consonants which precede the last consonant are pure consonants and are written half. Okay, it was a mistake. Last consonant, it must be not singular, not plural. And uh, there can be any number of consonants before before the last consonant. Therefore, it should be R, R written half. They're written half. This is the, the vidhi we follow, the rule. It's not written rule, general rule we follow. This will become more and more clear when we see more examples. Now, the next person can read this. Shivaji, can you read this? How do you read this, this equation? Yes, Guruji. Makara plus pa. And pa is 
combination of Pakara plus A. So Makara followed by Pakara. Right? Pakara. Yes. So which is the first consonant? Makara. The last consonant is Pakara. Pakara. So which is written half now? Makara. Makara written half. Therefore, you see. If the other examples are given, then you see the first one. Makara is written half. What is written half? You know, written half is the vertical stroke. The vertical stroke of the consonant will not be seen. That's called, uh, you have to remove it. That's called half. The vertical, no, for example, Makara is there. Makara has got the vertical uh, stroke. You can see the vertical stroke is there. That is, that will not be written. Half means that is what it is. The vertical stroke. The vertical stroke is removed. Then it becomes half consonant. What is the difference between what is the difference between the pure consonant makara and this half consonant makara? Any difference is there? No, Guruji. It is same. Okay. Whether you write it full consonant or whether you write it off, both are same only. Okay, don't think they are different. They are same. So, the pure, the, the pure consonant which is written full, full, completely, or the same consonant as part of the conjun conjunct consonant when it is written half, both are same. Okay, because a consonant, we are in this, because a consonant is followed by another consonant, Therefore, the pure consonant is written half. Okay, there is no difference. Still, it continues to be makara only. Makara plus pa is ba. Okay, now the second one. Continue, Shivaji. What is the first uh, consonant? Shakara plus nakara. So, sh shakara plus na. Naka, na is nakara plus a. So first consonant written off, right? Yes, sir. The vertical stroke is removed. Okay. That's why you see that. What, what do you say it? How do you read this? Shna. Shna. Like in the word Krishna. Like in the word Krishna. Krishna. No. The third one can read. What is that? Kakara plus la. So the first consonant is written half. Either you can write like this, or as I said, you can write one after the other. Here, what is the vertical stroke? The kakara vertical stroke is there. Can you remove the vertical stroke? No. You cannot remove the vertical stroke. If you remove, if you remove the vertical stroke, then the letter will not be there. There are some consonants where the vertical stroke they are at the end so you can remove it like in the makara or in the shakara so vertical stroke you can remove it still it, you can see the letter identify the letter but here in kakara in this case you cannot remove the vertical stroke if you remove the vertical stroke then what will be left out therefore therefore it is, it is written one below the other that is the first consonant at the top and the following consonant, the following the, the consonant written at the bottom. Okay. The following consonant, when you say it is lakara lakara at the bottom, and it has got vowel. Along with the vowel, it comes the last consonant, therefore la. Or it can be written one after the other. Where uh, when you write one after the other, a part of the letter is removed. A part of the letter, kakara, is removed. Like in the previous example, we saw kakara plus kair, kha, that example. So anyway, you can write it that. It's not a problem. The next one is kakara plus ma. How do you read this? Guma. Guma. Next one. Lakara plus ya is 
Yeah. So, understand this, all of you? This? Yes, Guruji. Now, the same thing can be, it will be developed further. If you have any doubts, please ask. This is important. Then the next one, more examples. The next person can read, Ravi Rajaji. Different combinations are given here. The first Nakara, example, yeah. Nakara plus Na. So the first consonant is? Nakara. Last consonant is? Na. That is also Nakara only. Nakara. We say last consonant, only the consonant, Nakara. Followed by the vowel, uh. Uh. So the first consonant is written half. So it means what happens to the first consonant? The vertical stroke is? The vertical stroke is the Nakara. That is? Yeah. Double. It will become like this. Understand? No. Okay. Na. Na. Like this. Na. Na. Now you will see that. We will read words. Na. The next one. Lakara plus la. Lakara. You can read like this. Lakara plus lakara plus a. Lakara plus lakara plus a. Okay. Now, what first consonant is? Lakara. Lakara. Last consonant is? A. Lakara. La plus a. La. No, no. no. Last consonant only I am asking, not a. La lakara. Last consonant also lakara. Only two consonants are there. What is the first and last? First consonant is lakara. The last consonant also lakara only. Oh. Now, how do you write this? Can you remember the vertical stroke of the lakara? We can't. So, a part of the letter is removed. Or one below yeah. the The pure consonant, the first consonant is written at the top. Okay. And the last consonant at the bottom. Bottom. Hmm. So, la. And this becomes more clear when uh, the word you can see very, very clearly the pronunciation. If the vowel precedes, then you would be able to hear the first consonant. Like in the word malla or palla. Right? The second one, uh, the next one, read. Chakara plus ja. Where is chakara? Takara, chakara. takara plus ja. It is not Takara. The third one you are reading. Oh. Dakara plus Ja. It is not. Please see the letter. What is the first letter? The third example. First, na. Nyakara. Yeah. Nyakara. 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 Nyakara plus Cha. Not Ja. It is Cha. It is Cha, not Ja. Oh, first cha. First letter is cha. Cha. Nikara plus cha. Now, Nikara. the first yes. consonant is Nikara. The last consonant is Chakara. So, the first consonant Nikara has got vertical stroke. You can remove it and you can write one after the other or the first consonant at the top and the last consonant. That is the following consonant at the bottom. So, cha. It is cha, like in the word pancha. Like in the word pancha. Okay. If the bubble precedes this congenital consonant, then it is the first consonant is more pronounceable. Pancha. We are going to see that words. We will understand. The next example. Shakara plus tha. Let us pronounce it properly. It is sakara. Sakara, shakara. sakara, sakara plus tha. So the first consonant is written half, right? Oh, the vertical sir. stroke is removed. But, no, no, not sir. First consonant written in half. Yes, star. Yes, good. Star. Yes, like in the word hasta. Hasta. Grasta and all. Last one. Pakara plus ya. 
Ya. Ya. Perkara bersiayus. Ya. Ya. Good next person now. Thank you, Priyaji. Yes, Ji. Please read. You can read the equation. Oh. This should be pronounced as. First, read the read the equation. The the kara plus. The kara plus ma. ma. Yeah, is it equal to? Dma, dma. Dma. Like in the word padma and all. Yeah. This no, not this letter. The when you write this, the kara is at the top. But okay, I don't know whether you can see that. The kara at the top, and then makara at the the bottom. This is how it is written. You will find in the printing like this only. So you need to note this. You have to spot the the kara at the top, and makara at the bottom. The first consonant, the kara at the top. The following consonant, the last consonant at the bottom, which is the vowel. Ma uh, kara, so dwa, okay, dwa. The next yes. one. Nakara plus cha. You can read the last one. Nakara plus ma. You can read Nakara the last. Cha. Yeah. No, you can read the last letter which you which appears now. Oh, dwa, dwa. No, no, the last one. One, two, three, four, five. Where you can see the answer. You read that. Oh, sorry, Ji. I didn't notice that. Uh, nakara plus ma, ma. Okay, then. Uh, nakara plus cha, cha. Cha. It's maybe difficult, but when a word, you would be able to pronounce that. Okay. Bakara uh, plus ya, ya. Dakara plus dakara. Uh, how to pronounce this? The the, the. like uh, kakara plus ka, ka like in the word akka and all. So maybe the kara plus the madda. Ah, uh, so, madda. Madda. And all. So the kara plus the. See how it is written. The kara at the top and the kara at the, the bottom. bottom. Right. This is how it is. Understand the difference between this and. And the kara plus r dr. Okay. I need to know. Remember that. Yes, G. Both can confuse, yes. but you need to understand. You please see the the material, uh, the previous class. The kara plus r. It is dr. How it is written? Please check your notes, and you check this also. The kara plus the how it is written. So the, the kara plus ra is simple consonant vowel combination, and here it is consonant followed by another consonant conjunct. So understand the difference? Yes. I cannot uh, type it here and show it now. That is why I am saying. Yes. Maybe I can type in another context when the word letter comes. Out. The letter when the letter comes in some other context, I will show you. But not the difference. Important. Yes. Next person, Paruji. Dakara plus wo. Dau. Not dau. How it is dau? Da da. Dakara dau. plus wa. Wa wa dava. Not dava. If you said dava, it's a, it's a, you're adding the vowel to the dakara. How can you add dau. vowel to the first consonant dakara? Dakara followed by vakara. There is no vowel in between them. Dau. Only this conjunct consonant. Yeah. So it is dau. That's what I'm saying. It is wrong when you say dau. How can it be dau? Dakara. When you say da, da when you say you are adding that there is vowel in between the two letters, two consonants. And vakara you are removing. Uh, you are saying dau. You are saying vakara. But here it's not vakara. First you read the equation. Uh, Dakara plus Wakara, the last consonant. 
Dakara plus Vakara plus A. Plus A. The last okay. letter is Va, which is a combination of Vakara plus Va A. plus A, yes. The first consonant is Dakara. Hmm. So therefore, how do you read this now? Dava. It is wrong, I'm saying. Oh. You cannot say Da. How can you say Da? When you say Da, it is Dakara plus A. The vowel A is there. Hmm. Anybody, how, how it is pronounced? Dva. 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 It is Dva, dva not Dava. Dva. It is Dva. 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 Shall see, it is Dva. Dva. When you say Dva, Dava, you see the difference? What is the difference yeah. between Dava and Dva? Dava, dava. Dava, dava will be different. Dava will be different. Dava yeah. will be Da and followed by Vakara. When you say Dava, it is Dakara plus Akara plus Akara. Vakara. Hmm. It is not that here. Understand? Yes. So Dakara, the first consonant, then Vakara it is, is you can see it is it, it doesn't have any vertical stroke where you can remove it. Hmm. So therefore, uh, you have to write as it is. And the following consonant can be written at the bottom. The, so when the, you see like this, you have, hmm. you have a letter. That understand the, la, the consonant at the top is pure consonant. First consonant. The consonant at the bottom is the last consonant followed by the vowel. If at all, if it is followed by the vowel. Wow. Okay. The next one. Uh, takara plus Rakara. That we will see later. Uh, you can write the last one. Okay. Nakara plus Hakara plus O. Uh, no. You have to say. Yeah. No. You are doing the same mistake. It's not Naha. No. 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 Correct. It, no. it is difficult to pronounce the. No. 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 But no. not Naha. Yeah, yeah. Correct, yeah. correct. Next one. Takara plus Rakara plus O. Tra. It is wrong to read, say the Rakara. There is no Rakara at all. Takara. No. Rakara, you cannot say it is Rakara. There has got a name. Repa. Repa. Hmm? Pardon? It is called Repa. You should not address the pure consonant as Rakara. It is Repa. Repa. We saw yes. Uh -huh. Remember, we Ro saw this. All the consonants we addressed as Takara, Takara, Pakara by adding Kara. Kara, the suffix. Hmm. Yeah. Whereas for this letter, it is not hmm. Rakara. You cannot add that suffix Kara. Yeah, because the stroke is not there. No, 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 not because of stroke and all. Why? What is stroke? It's not because of stroke and all. The pure consonant mm -hmm. is addressed as Repa, not as Rakara. I'm a... Okay, Repa. It is Repa. To say Rakara is wrong. So, Takara plus Repa. Plus A. Plus A. Tra. It is Tra. So, tra. now you note this here. It's important here. Yeah. The first consonant is Takara. First consonant is Takara. Hmm. The last consonant is Repa. Repa. It is last, we say, because it is followed by the vowel. Okay. Now, Repa followed by the vowel, which is Ra. Repa hmm. followed by the vowel Ra. Please see here how it is written. You will see the hmm. stroke here. Yes. Okay, this I can. I'll try to show you through the just a minute. Makara plus Bakara. Yeah, hold on. I'll try to show this. It's a bit difficult, but still, the 
Uh, in paint is difficult, but this is only option you have. This is Takara, okay. Takara plus rise. Rai is a combination of Repa. This is addressed as Repa, important thing. Please note that. Takara plus Repa plus the following letter is the vowel. That is why we say this as the last consonant. Repa is the last consonant. The first consonant is Takara. So, note this, when Repa is the last consonant, then the Repa will be, last consonant will be written like this. The Repa followed by the, the vowel, written like this. Then this is Takara itself. Takara, you need more the vertical stroke. So what is there? You have this part. This is called tra. Takara plus ra is tra. You can write like this, or there is another way of writing like this, writing this. It can be written like this also. This is called this is tra. Understand? Yes, Guruji. Takara plus repa plus a. It is written like this. Suppose instead of a, suppose if a is a, then it becomes tra. Understand this, all of you? This is important to know this. That is, yes. The yes. Repa, that is, repa as a last consonant will be written like this. The stroke will be there. Not this stroke. Now, let me change the, the thing. Takara plus, instead of Takara, let me change it as, change into, let it, if, suppose if it is, suppose if it is, uh, If it is the letter Kakara, Kakara plus Kakara plus Re, Ra, Ra is Repa plus A, Kakara plus Repa plus A. The last consonant is Repa. Last, the last consonant is Repa. So, the last consonant will be written like this. The repa is written like this. If it as part of the, the conjunct consonant, if the repa is the last consonant, it is written like this. Okay. Now the kakara have to be written. How to write this kakara? Now if you write kakara, it, so it is, you have to write here. Okay. This is kakara. It is, it is written like this, right? And this is, this is, this is that ra. So it is kra. Kakara plus ra is kra. Similarly, if instead of kakara, suppose if we have the letter gakara, gakara plus repa plus a, then now it is written, you write it. The letter ga and the ra is written like this. This is gra. So when you see this this stroke, understand it is rep repa. And this this uh, this stroke is shows it is a. Suppose instead of a, suppose if it is e, then it becomes like this gri. Okay, so instead of E, suppose the vowel is U, then it becomes Guru. Instead of the vowel U, suppose if it is O, then it becomes Guru. 
So that vowel sign, depending on the vowel, you have to fix it. And repa is indicated by this stroke. Understand, all of you? Yes, Guruji. Yes, Guruji. Yes, yes there is ra, that it is always repa, no? This is always pronounced as repa. Remember. Okay. It yes, is not raka. Is to call it as raka is wrong. Wrong. I, important thing I uh, told the that, that context is. itself. Need to know okay. how to address it. It is not rakara. Rakara means it's a mistake. Yeah, right. But uh, for raw, you have to address repa only. Huh? For raw, 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 raw uh -huh. you have to address repa. Yes. Rakara yeah. plus repa. Repa, yeah. It is plus pure oh. consonant is address as repa. Okay. Okay. Pure consonant. Now, the, the other thing also explained is the kara plus the conjunct combination what it came. Uh, the kara plus just a minute the kara plus r this is not conjunct consonant the kara plus r this is consonant vowel combination this context we saw it is the kara and the vowel ru is written like this. This is dr. In the case of conjunct consonant, we just now saw this example the kara plus the that is this da is the kara plus a. Now, here since here first consonant doesn't have any vertical stroke to be removed, therefore it is written as it is at the top and it is followed by the therefore that is written at the the bottom the you can write like this or you will see in the books the printing like this the so what i'm saying is don't get confused with this and this both are different this is consonant verbal combination Whereas this is conjunct consonant, the kara plus the kara plus the. Okay. And this consonant vowel combination, it is in, in books, in printing, you will find it is written like this. Note this, this is important. So now the confusion is more between this and this. So you should know the difference. This is. Dr, whereas it is the okay. Please note this. Now, going back to the the next one. Please read for all you. You can read. You can unmute your mic. Ah, yeah. yeah. Bakara plus Bakara plus O, Mob. Mob. Huh? It is not Mob. Bakara, you are saying. How can it be Mob? It is Mob. I can tell about Amba. Mob. Mob. Okay. Next ba. one. Chakara plus Cha plus O. Cha. 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 So it is written. You can see how it is written. Mm. The vertical stroke of chakara is removed. Hmm. So you need to practice like this for the consonants. Yeah. Any consonant, any consonant, you can practice like this. Okay. The next person now. Of course, you can please read. Yes, Guruji. Oh, I think the same one. You can read this one. Yes. Shakara plus Repa plus Akara equal to Shra. Shra. Right? And Shra yes. can be, can be, this is important. This is also another information. Yes. You need to know this. It comes only with practice, with being familiar with this. This shakara plus repa. 
it is, this is Shakara plus Ra. What happens? Shakara plus Ra is, you can write like this, Shakara plus Ra is, this is Ra is written like this. This just now we saw, okay? Right? Yes, Guruji. This is one. Or, this will be written like this. Shakara is written like yes. this and Repa is written like this. Yes, Guruji. This is how, this is what you find in the, the printing. So understand, this part is Shakara. So again, yes, okay. this is Shakara, then it is Repa, and this vertical stroke is, stands for the vowel A, because here in here it is A is there. Suppose if it is E, then it becomes Shri. Suppose if it is long E, if it is E, then it becomes Shri. Now you know to read this. This is called Shri. Shri Mat Bhagavad Gita. This is Shri. Yes, good. So in, now you, you need to remember this is Shakara. Okay, important thing. Now going back to that. Yes. Now you see how it is written. Shra. Clear? Yes, Guruji. This is only when Repa. Okay, remember. Only when Repa follows. It is written like that. Not for other thing. The next one will be of course, you read. Yes. Shakara, uh, shakara plus uh, yakara equal to uh, shia. Shia. It, it, see how it is written. It is written as it is. Yes. Shakara doesn't change its form. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next. Only one. This disappears the stroke. Yes. Uh, the next one is uh, shakara plus vakara shva. 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 The next one is Hakara plus Yakara Hya. Yeah. So you can see Ha is. You cannot write this first consonant one below the other. First consonant at the top, you cannot write it. Therefore, it is Hakara is written and Ya yeah, you see at the bottom. So understand the first letter is Hakara. The first letter is Hakara. Let me write that. This is the first consonant is Hakara followed by the, the next consonant, uh, last consonant is Ya, Hakara plus A. Then the first consonant, since there is no vertical stroke, we can we can remove it to represent uh, the, its form in conjunct consonant. Therefore, it is written as it is. And the following the consonant, that is, you see that that is written here. This is what you see in the screen. Okay. So, the second part, this is the complete consonant, the consonant with the vowel. Yeah. Whereas this part is pure consonant, akara. So, therefore, it is pronounced as khya. It is khya. Yes, Guruji. Okay. No, I suppose if I give the word, can you read this? Can you read this word? Uh, parah, parahyaha. Parahyaha. Pa, ra, and hyaha. Parahyaha. Okay. Yes, good. Yes. Then, then, yeah, okay, that's all. The next example that we will see, we will see that in the more, more and more examples will come. A lot of examples will come. But whatever we have seen today, you need to remember. One is Repa at the end, at number one. Second one is the form the Shakara takes that you need to remember. Okay. Please go through the lesson again. 
you have any doubts, you can ask or go through this. Again, you will be clear. Any doubt in this? No, Guruji. No, Anybody? No, Guruji. No, Guruji. Okay. So, please go through the recording if you have any doubts. And we are going to see a lot of other combinations. Yes, Guruji. Yes, Guruji. Okay. Yes, Om Pur Navadav Pur Namidam Pur Nar Pur Namadachate Om Nasya Pur Navadhaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shantishantishantihi Harihi Om Shri Kurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om Dhanivad Guruji धन्यवाद गुरुजी धन्यवाद गुरुजी धन्यवाद गुरुजी धन्यवाद गुरुजी हरिओम गुरुजी हरिओम गुरुजी हरिओम गुरुजी